We have news of a new proposal in Columbus that would punish doctors who help transgender youth medically transition. The legislation is still being drafted, but would essentially block transgender people under 18 from receiving prescriptions or surgical procedures here. Lena Lai breaks it all down for you. Like, it's what's the point of being on this earth if you're going to try to be someone you're not. Actress Gabrielle Union and NBA star Dwayne Wade introduced to the world today their 12-year-old daughter, Zaya, who was born a boy named Zion. Wade shared their story on Ellen. Hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. And I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. And on the same day, two Ohio lawmakers announced a new bill restricting gender identity medical treatments for transgender youth by going after doctors. Under the bill, doctors doing procedures to alter the gender of a minor would be charged with a third degree felony, which carries up to three years in prison. Uh, at a news conference in Columbus, Representative Ron Hood declared that well-meaning parents are being coerced, saying, quote, Ohio's most vulnerable children are being subjected to experimental, unproven, and expensive treatments and surgeries. All of Northeast Ohio's major hospitals have recently added medical and mental health services specifically for transgender patients, with Akron Children's opening its Center for Gender Affirming Medicine last year for patients age 7 and older. We're just trying to figure out as much information we can to make sure that we give our child the best opportunity to be, you know, her best self. But whether that decision is made by families or the government in Ohio could change with a bill affecting opportunities for change. I'm feeling free. Yeah. I'm feeling like you. Yeah. Feeling like you don't have to hide. Like you, you could look in the mirror and like say like hi to yourself. Like Local hospitals did not want to comment about the legislation until they could learn more. Meanwhile, the LGBT Community Center of Greater Cleveland also declined to comment tonight, referring us to other groups because, quote, we get enough press. Betsy? It's an important story to follow. Thank you, Lena. You bet.